Let's look at simplifying a ratio of polynomials. Our instructions are easy. It says simplify. And here we've got a couple of quadratics or a couple of polynomials. Wow, how do we go about solving that? Well, the first step we want to look for look for factoring. Because the uh, the big picture is we'll we'll look for factoring and then we can cross cancel factors because as is we can't cross cancel anything it's just not allowed we can't simplify individual terms but if we take a look at this numerator first we notice that there's a common 2 in there so we can factor out a 2 and that would be y squared minus 5y minus 14 and then the bottom can stay the same for now because there's no common factors and if we look then more closely at each of these polynomials, ask ourselves if we can factor those, we can see that the first one <coughs> is going to be opposite signs, plus and minus 2 and 7, so it's going to be a negative 7 and a positive 2, isn't it? And then in the denominator we can factor, whoops made a mistake here this is a plus 14 which makes those the same sign so we have a y plus 2 and a y plus 7 then now that we've got all, everything factored we notice that we have common factors right here y plus 2 and a y plus 2 and so then our final answer 2 times y minus 7 over y plus 7 All right, let's take a look at one more example. First step, factor. So can we factor this one? Looks like we can. V and V, and it's going to be a minus 3 and a plus 1. And then in the denominator, we notice we have a, a common factor of 2. And that would be V squared minus 1. Then we notice this is a difference of squares. So v minus 3 over times uh, v plus 1. And then in the denominator, we have 2 times v minus 1, v plus 1. And now we notice that we have common terms right there. So our final answer is just going to be v minus 3 all over 2 times the quantity v minus 1. There we have it.